armed forces now ready to fight a major war with Russia if we had to fight tonight? Yes. It's the ultimate question for the man in charge of Britain's armed forces. But the Defence Committee didn't appear satisfied with his answer. If you crashed 3DIV out of barracks tomorrow morning, half the vehicles wouldn't get out of the tank park because many of them are 40, 50 or even 60 years old because all their replacements haven't yes. arrived yet. Soldiers from the 1st Battalion, the Mercian Regiment, in their warrior armoured vehicles, the UK is committed to providing a war-fighting division made up of units like this to NATO in the event of a full-scale war. And Admiral Sir Tony Radekin was quick to defend the capabilities of his personnel. The notion that, 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 that you're saying that we have all these people, so you've got 20, 30,000 people, and that somehow... They, they, they don't exist and that they're useless. It's, 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 but all of their vehicles are completely outdated. They <laughs> exist, there's nothing to fight in. So, so we accept, we accept that the vehicles are, are really old. We accept that we've, the war fighting division that we've got now, we're investing in like crazy yeah, but to improve for 2030. It's still a war fighting division. Oh. It's not the one that we want. Well, it is, I accept in name, it is. But come on, why can't we have some honesty in terms of saying this is where we're at? And the request for honesty and to tell the truth on this topic was a recurring theme from the committee in their robust questioning of the Admiral. Rosie Layden, Forces News. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.